Well, welcome. Tuesday morning, tunes and coffee hour. We'll bring you the tunes, you bring the coffee. <laughs> All right. Well, we've got some good tunes lined up for today. Songs we know today? I don't know. I can't keep track of what we know. That's <laughs> joking. <laughs> says Midnight on the Water. We can do that one. <clears throat> this is a waltz that was written by Benny Thompson's father. And uh, everybody always thinks of, you know, the ni nice big water, like a lake or the ocean, Midnight on the Water. It's actually written about a uh, stock tank. <clears throat> yeah. water, in the, water in the trough. At midnight? At midnight. Midnight on the water, indeed. <laughs>
pretty song, and then you're like, oh, it's about a horse trough? What? Yeah, anyway. Yeah. Horses are pretty. Picture <laughs> <laughs> the water kind of lapping in the horse trough. You know, it could be a big horse trough. Oh, okay. You have to get a little... <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, dear. Midnight on the water. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, since we're on the subject of horses, shall we play Spotted Pony? Okay. A.K.A. Snowshoes. favorite tunes, uh, especially on the Tommy Jackson square dance without call. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the way it should be played. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> with that Irish theme of this week. <laughs> kind of, but it's like Americanized Irish, I think. What? John Ryan's Polka? Sure. I was just trying to figure out how to pull the slippers midnight on the water or snowshoes. Oh, Irish. no! <laughs> Not those ones. But anyway, yeah, John Ryan's. John Ryan's. Alright. Although I guess we could play both. Bill has to play John Ryan's. Dun, 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 bum, bum, bum. That one? Yeah. Wait. What? I gotta get the other guitar. 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's all retuned and everything. I just had the thought. I did the workshop last night with Stu on Dad Gad Guitar. And you just happened to play an Irish song in D. I think I can do this.
do that in this too. Oh, darn. You don't get to just switch keys. I don't have the clippy key. I can't go back. Kimmy! Yeah, no. Okay. Alright. Then I just switch guitars. No, I don't know. That was fun. It's a good excuse for more guitars, really. <laughs> Sure he does. <laughs> but he keeps trying to sell. If anyone needs a, oh, an, a nice art stop, yeah. Justin Brad. Go check out his page. He's got it. Yeah, I'd like that one too. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I am an art stop. Okay, anyway. Here's Inishir. <laughs>
turn this off. Change gears. Sure. Play some bluegrass. We shifting down or going to top gear? I don't. I don't know. I think it's sideways. Okay. Yeah. 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 Ye
pineapple ended up on the Cornish Mountain back set. Which is supposed to have an extra meat. <laughs> we weren't just messing it up. Chad wants to know if you feel better now. I think he always play, feels better. Because I play the banjo? When he plays the banjo. <laughs> Maybe. That's not true. If you haven't taken up the banjo yet. <clears throat> you just have to eat some club. <laughs> Sad. What was that slow one you used to do on the banjo? Was it like dancing on the clouds? <laughs> Did it sound like Billy Mill around? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, that was him. Uh, yeah, I could do dancing on the clouds. Where'd that tuner go? I don't know. I don't have it. It's on your guitar. Oh. Sure, I'll retune the D. <laughs> Birch Band, but we got it from a guy named Jerry Corral. He lives in Elk Creek, I think West Virginia. I know it's Elk Creek, because he's got a tune called Ended Up Elk Creek. And that's also the name of an album that he did that this song is on. Mind. 
you played them at the beginning. Should we do a double right. fiddle one to start with? Double fiddle. And then maybe a twin fiddle one. Yeah. That way we have low expectations for the first <laughs> one. I but, like that. Uh, colored aristocracy. Yeah. In the key of G.
the range, you know, the range, the the movies, the cowboy movies. Mm. Singing cowboys and whatnot. Yeah. <laughs> so I know how to rope. Yeah. And sing and play guitar. Yeah. They're they're rare yeah. these days. Everybody can do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, says so Squirrel Hunter, are you gonna play it or am I gonna play it? Um Then, then you have to play the next one, okay. which I think you can do. I can probably figure it out. Okay. So we'll do the squirrel hunters. It's going to be in the new book. The new volume three of the Montana State Old Time Settlers Riddle Book. Yep. We've done this a couple of years in a row and we're working on the third volume. 
raise money to put on workshops, yep. which this year has been all online so all far. Online so. so I hope you've enjoyed the workshops. Um, yeah. If you have okay. ideas for workshops or people you'd like to see give workshops, let us know. Um, we've got another week and a half. This week we've got John Weed doing uh, Irish Fiddle and Stuart Mason did Dad Gad Guitar last night. And then next week we have uh, Leela Grace from Portland, Oregon doing a step dancing workshop. And then Betsy Ellis is going to finish Fiddle it off. Power. Fiddle power. That's right. <laughs> she, she, she's a powerhouse. She's a powerhouse fiddle yeah. player for sure. I can't play with as much <laughs> energy as Betsy does. I just can't do it. She's got yeah. So uh but uh, yeah, Squirrel Hunters is in the new book, and so is this next one. Uh, this is a chirp tune. We call them chirp tunes because we learned them from Chirp Smith, who comes to the fiddle. Who's I think he's come there from the beginning, right? No. No, almost. No. no? no. Well, for a long time. The last <laughs> twenty years or something. <laughs> he's been there a lot. He's an institution. He and Dot. Yeah. And this tune is sort of synonymous with chirps and his playing for dances. Yeah, this is a common one that we play for, a, for the evening dance. All the time. John Shorts. <clears throat> Mind me how it goes. Like... Da, 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 da. It's getting stuck in your head. Key of D. Chirps tune. Mm -hmm. 
Down in Little Egypt. This is one of my favorites. Um, it, it seems crooked, but it's not crooked, but it is. Okay. It comes out in the end, but it's in the key of C. <laughs> of the sponsors or not um, given the state of economic things some of our sponsors in the past who were committed may not be able to do it so we're kind of stalled a little bit until we get it all that all put together not so much for the money aspect but because we have to get their ads on the pages so we have to know who's going to send us money eventually <laughs> to put their ads on there but the goal is to have it out the first part of June that's the game plan at this point the yeah. plan was to hand it out at Montana Fiddle Camp. Right. The, the theme of this year's book is Camp Favorites. And so last year we went around and recorded a bunch of videos at camp and sort of took a poll of what tunes everybody thought was just like tunes that they associate with camp. And lots of Chirps tunes going to be in there. <laughs> because they played at the dances. They played just... at the dances and Chirps sits in the dining room and just plays all day. So... And, and he right. teaches by ear, so his students are constantly playing the tunes over and over and over, I think is another reason. And maybe because my mother takes church class, I'm just always hearing the church tunes. <laughs> Which is good. I like church tunes. <laughs> it's not a bad thing. But, uh, so the theme is camp favorites, and so yeah, the plan was uh, every year we try to give away the books to different kind of groups. We always give them to all our Montana State Old Time Fiddlers members. So if you want a book, join the Fiddlers and you'll get a free book in the mail. Um, last year, we also included the Yellowstone Bluegrass Association and gave books to all of them, um, trying to kind of foster some uh, inter-organizational jamming, have some common tunes. And so this year, we were going to give them away to all the campers, but unfortunately, camp is canceled. So uh, we're going to... We're still going to do the book. We're going to do the book, and we're going to send them out to all the people who were registered for camp, in addition to all our Montana State Old Time Fiddlers members. So, I think it'll be about 500 copies of the book. Probably pretty close. So, if you're registered for camp, you'll get a book. Uh, and 
if you're a member of the Old Time Fiddlers, you'll get a book. And if you're not one of those two and you still want a book, you can go online and buy one once they're available. They'll be 10 bucks plus shipping. Um, and I think an individual membership is $17. So by the time you buy the book and pay the shipping, you're like $2 away from just being a member and getting the book for free. So join up, be a member, and then... We've got a lot of out-of-state members and out-of-country members, too. Yeah. <clears throat> It was an interesting side note. At our last board meeting, I said, well, if we want to increase our memberships, but we, we should look outside of just our little jamming communities within Montana and go to the worldwide. So it's your fault fiddle. that we have to do everything online. <laughs> so I, I had no idea that it was going to come to this of doing all of our workshops online. and <laughs> The fiddle theory. Wish <laughs> And instead of playing in the nursing home, we're playing on Facebook. But, uh, yeah. Anyway. So anyway, the new book will be out uh, sometime in the beginning of June. And uh, yeah, it has lots of cool tunes in it. Some original tunes that were written at camp. Uh, had a gentleman ask me yesterday via email um, about Chirps and Williams. Really? Um, wanting to know where I could get the music for that, and that will be in there. That's a Calvin Bullerath tune that was written for Chirps, and a couple of different Williams. Mike Williams is one of them, and there were there were several other Williams there, but um, that was written at camp, for camp. And then there's a John Reichman tune that was written or bought at the camp auction and written for a friend of ours, Suzanne. Suzanne, who has your old banjo. Who has my banjo, yes. That's one that's one of my story. banjos. It's in China. Mm. <laughs> I have to fly all over and come back. <laughs> and then uh, a tune that was written last year at camp by uh, Taylor. Oh, and uh, yeah. And uh, McKay and <laughs> Bill. Bill McKay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And uh, I helped him. Uh, I guess work out the kinks at the end. I didn't have any hand in writing it, but uh, made some chord suggestions. Who to edit? Yeah, I, I was the, the rhythm guinea pig. So songwriting is, happens at the camp too. So, so, uh, so lots of cool tunes, um, lots of dance cool. tunes, some Irish tunes, all sorts of fun stuff. Some sing along tunes, tunes, some swing tunes, yep. Easy tunes. So yeah, let's play more. I'm tired of talking. Well, let's, it's time to, we're done. Oh. We must conclude. Well, okay, I'll shut up. <laughs> we're going to play a little bit of You Are My Sunshine. Yeah. You want to sing it today? Um, sure. Fiddle class later. I am. One o'clock Montana time. We're going to learn a new tune. Give you some old tunes. 